this right here, the all-new Lexus GX550, is super hot right now. Wow, and Lexus says this can tow up to 7,800 pounds. Yes, this luxury edition. But we need to put it to the test. This is the first drive with the trailer, first tow in a brand new Lexus. Well, we're at the truck stop. Let's do it right. Let's cool. weigh the truck and the trailer. Let's see all the features and let's see how it drives. The all new 2024 GX is truly all new because it's based on a new platform. Toyota and Lexus call it TNGAF and it's a truck-based SUV. It's got a fully boxed frame, it's got a solid rear axle with a multi-link coil suspension in the rear, and it should tow pretty well. Mr. Truck, let's look under the hood. Whoa! Oh, twin turbo, that's that 3.4, it's in the Tundra. Yeah, it's very similar to the Tundra engine. This is truly a truck-based SUV, and the power and torque numbers are what? 349 horsepower and 479 on torque. Dude, that's a lot of torque. Oh, it is, it's got a 10-speed too. So at least from the powertrain perspective, there should be no shortage of torque or oh, power. No, not at all. That's that's a cool engine. On the road again. I'm just trying to get on the road again. Are those other words? Or am I yeah, mixing I'll it up? Yeah, i see. On the road again, can't get, wait to get back on the road again. Making music with my friends and let's see. Let's see. I can't wait to get on the road, road again. again. On the road again, like a band of gypsies, <laughs> we go down the highway. And it never ends. So, Mr. Truck. Yes. This Lexus GX, it's super nice. I mean, this is a luxury plus model. We'll talk about pricing at the end of the video, both for the uh, GX and also the trailer. They're both really nice premium and luxury pieces of equipment. Yeah, they look they look cool. I, I like the way the, the console is. That giant, wait a minute, it's a 14 inch, it's got a big screen. Yeah, and it's a new system, right? This is fully redesigned, once again. Nice steering wheel, it's got adaptive cruise control system, latest latest driver assistance technologies, cool. all new dash. Are you comfortable? How's the seat? I am, I didn't know if it has a massaging seat, it probably doesn't. Well, it has cooling and, and oh, ventilation yeah. Yeah. and heating, well, I'm it has impressed. all that stuff. I'm impressed, it still has a full frame. Full frame, which yes. is a C-channel or box, I don't know, probably boxed. Yes. But I think that makes these things stronger, and it also helps with towing, it helps with a lot of things. You know, I'm not a big unibody fan, but oh well. But it makes them a little heavier, and this is heavy at 5,700 pounds. It's a pretty heavy little rascal. Oh yeah, but it has a lot of cool features, including this dynamic sky roof, which is really fancy. I can do this. Wow. Look, we can see through it. Cool. You can see the mountains. And right? then, bam. Wow. So we can see through it. It's cool, it makes or the sun look funny. We can make it opaque, so we still have a little bit of light. And there's also a shade that goes all the way closed. Yeah, I can see that track for that. That's awesome. And this has got pretty good headroom for a moonroof. And a moonroof's take away an inch and a half. And you guys, this is do. This has tremendous uh, space. Yeah. Really comfortable suspension, too. And especially when I was driving on Leyden, it was a very comfortable machine, even with these low-profile tires. Well, sure, and yeah, so there's not a whole lot of tire cushion, but there's, this is a, a wishbone front suspension independent. Yeah. And the back's a solid axle, which I like that idea, with a five-link. Yes. They call it something else, but yeah, that's what it is, is stabilizer bars and a tracking bar. So, yeah, yeah, this is it's very comfortable. That's, that's when you spend this kind of money, whatever it is, I know it's up there, you expect it to be soft ride, full of toys, yeah. Just enjoy it and take all the family with you. And this, I think they did a great job redesigning it. My tow haul mode is down here. Yeah. Um, right there, I can just hit it really easily. Yeah, it's very important to have that when you're towing trailers. And it's also full-time 4x4. Yeah, you don't have so, low range. We don't have a two-wheel drive range. Right, I don't have a two-wheel drive, but I do have a low, low range and central locker. Right, it locks the transfer case. And this has got four captain's chairs. Yeah. So you have plenty of room for adults and you can throw the kids in the back. So yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, this is not an inexpensive vehicle, but it's very well, it feels well made. Yeah, I mean, this thing's like 20 feet long, but it feels smaller than that for some reason. It's very maneuverable. Any game that claims all the world's problems can be solved by trucks gets our attention and vote. We're talking about the newest take on the physics-based off-road adventure from the creators of SnowRunner and MudRunner. Chart through extreme terrain with your vehicle's arsenal of gadgets, including 
planting anchors to ascend difficult slopes, and echo sounders so you know how deep the water is. Expeditions, a mudrunner game that allows players to embark on scientific expeditions, requiring players to adapt to nature's challenges to unravel the mysteries of uncharted lands. Players can explore different terrains, ranging from arid deserts to rugged forests to the steepest of mountains, all teeming with hidden treasures and forgotten ruins. Build and manage your base, equip your vehicles with different technologies, and hire a team of experts to improve your skills in the field. Expand the reach of your explorations and ensure successful expeditions. What makes a successful expedition? Plan your itinerary wisely by previewing your route with your reconnaissance drone and make use of your metal detector and camera drone to locate caches. Manage your camp by building research structures and hiring experts to unlock new skills and possibilities during your expeditions. Expeditions, a mud runner game, is available for play on PC, Nintendo Switch, PS4 and 5, and Xbox One and Series X and S. Click on the link in the description below to check it out for yourself. Hey, Mr. Truck, check this out. When I drive forward, oh look at that! In camera mode, it remembers what's underneath the truck, so I can line up on the scales perfectly. I mean, this feature is for off-roading, really. Oh, yeah, great for looking at the rocks over your transfer case. Yeah, but now we're using it for towing and we're using it to line up perfectly on the scale because I want to weigh my front axle, my rear axle, right. and my trailer axle wow, um, cool. all Look nicely. You can see where the split of the axles are. That is nice. Nice. All right, Mr. Truck, um, if you step off the scale, let's weigh it without people, okay? Okay. This is a company called Fast Lane Truck. Is that truck number? Just truck number one. All right, so we already weighed the GX and the trailer together. Now let's weigh the GX by itself cool. so we know exactly how the weight is distributed. That's awesome. Oh, it's got power jack. I love it. <laughs> yes. You guys need to do that some of your trailers. You don't have any power jacks. No, this is nice. <laughs> Let me struck. They have a really nice design here. They have this plastic cover I on the rear that. bumper, but it also makes for a difficult time because I need to unhook the, the chain and it's really hard to reach down there. Hold on. Yeah, it looks like a difficult way to unhook those chains. There's and I, one. And I, I don't know, I mean, I guess I can put the hook maybe this way. I don't know, might be easier from the bottom. Well, yeah, you gotta get your hand in there. That makes it kind of hard to do. So that's not ideal. No, no. And then the next thing that's not ideal, let me show you, is when I remove the pin, you see this pin? Yeah. It hits the <laughs> side. Well, that ain't gonna work. How the hell you get the pin out of there? So the, oh. the, the option I found is to unclip this cover. You see that? Wow. So I think the way to do it is actually to remove this all together. That makes sense. Can you hold this? Okay. So removing that all together, and then, watch this. Now it's a little bit more accessible. So you might just leave that off when you're pulling a trailer, huh? I think so, but yeah. it, it's not looking too good without it. Right, right. You see, well, you see <laughs> this? <laughs> I doubt a whole lot of people are gonna stare at your bumper. People usually stare at something else. Uh, Reway, please. Thank you. This number right here is the GX plus the trailer without people. Right. And total weight was 12,940 according to the scale. Now, if I look at just the Lexus by itself, so we weighed it by itself as well on the same scales, same day. Mm -hmm. 5,700 pounds, just a vehicle with a full tank of gas. Well, that's pretty big, it's a pretty heavy truck. Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, yeah, pretty chunky. Yeah. Which means we're towing this much, yes. 7,240 pounds. Which is good, because we've got to clear up to 7,800, so we have plenty of room for but, putting you in here. Yeah, but you know why we're gonna measure squat next? But okay. I think it's squatting a little bit too much. And I think the reason is, if the trailer weighs 7,200 pounds, and look, the trailer axles, when it was hooked up, weighed 6,200 pounds, which means we have about 1,000 pounds of tongue weight. 
which is more than we need. Right. So we should be at 10%, which is 7,800 max. Approximately, yes. So, yeah. So, because it's typical of a toy hauler, right? The toy hauler is designed to be a little bit nose heavy. Well, yeah, exactly. Until you get weight in the back, till you get the ATVs or the horses, where you put putting back. Yeah. Exactly. You're right. They are, they are designed to be tongue heavy. Please don't put any horses in this trailer. Oh, I don't know if it was designed yeah. for that. Okay. Well, they had that little gate back there. I thought maybe you put some llamas okay. in it or something. Okay. So, what we should do, obviously, is if you're towing this trailer, you should probably use a weight distribution hitch of yes, some kind. Yes, definitely, definitely. Because you want to distribute that load as much as possible. Right. I'm sure Lexus probably recommends that. I haven't read the manual, but that would be common. Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's go measure the squat now. Cool. You want to take bets on what it is? It looked to me like a couple inches, but what do I know? Well, you've been doing it for how many decades? Oh, gosh, probably 50 decades. Oh, five decades. <laughs> You're like father time. I know. I started driving when I was 16, and now I'm 66. So what's that? <laughs> You're good at math. <laughs> Whoa, oh, just an inch. Just an inch. Whoa. Oh, that was exciting. That was close. Oh, hold on. Don't do it. Huh? Don't do it. Okay. I'm not doing it. I have released the button. There. Squat time. Why are we not pulling this luxury automobile on a guy gauntlet? Well, because it's been snowing there for a couple of days. So, so we like snow. That's stay, what we do. Stay tuned. <laughs> that gauntlet is for snow. Well, no, it's for testing the world's toughest towing test up and down the major mountain. But right now it's kind of winter storm. Let's see. So let's measure the squat before the yes. trailer. Cool. Or let's measure the height. What, three and a half? What is so that? 36 and a half. Three foot and a half. So let's measure the other side just to be sure. Well, look, those are 22 inch tires. Those are big, humongous tires. Well, yeah, I mean, this is part of the luxury package. So you got this big, nice, beautiful luxury wheel. Yes. Uh, and kind of a low profile tire. I'm not a huge fan of this. For off roading, a bigger sidewall is better. Yes. So they also have the Overtrail models and right. also the other premium models of this DX. Right. Um, and if I bought this luxury one, which is beautiful and comfortable, yes, I probably would also downsize the wheel and get a little bit bigger tire. Yes, get a bigger sidewall. It's got giant disc brakes on it. In this case, it's wearing a Dunlop Grand Trek tire. I've never seen this tire on an SUV or a truck before. Well, it's nice and wide anyway. All right, let's uh, lower the trailer now. Okay. And measure the squat. Cool. So just for good measure, this is 37 and a quarter. And we were 36 and a, and a quarter. So it's somewhere like 36 and a half. Okay. Oh, he missed you. He was trying to hit you. Oh, hi. That's my buddy. Going down. Slowly, slowly it goes down. Look, see my new watch? It tells me my heartbeat, my rate, my oxygen level, everything. Whoa, look at that. Latched. The GX is normally made for off-roading. Maybe with, well, not with this luxury model, but the plug is all the way down underneath here so it's not the easiest one to connect but once it's in it's in firmly so that tab is on the tab the yeah the tab goes on it yeah good, it's connected good. but so I, hold, I mean if this was like a a tahoe <laughs> or you know american system yeah. It'll probably be somewhere here, easier to reach. Well, right. You drive this out and check your cattle, sagebrush, and pull that plug right out. All right, let's take a look. 34 and a quarter. And we were about 36 and a half. So, yeah, two inches approximately. Yeah, yeah. And that's not terribly bad, but it should be level, because that way your brakes work best, everything works best. Your suspension all works yeah. together. You want them level. So, which is why, in this case... Wow, truck, lots of truckers here, huh? We're all learning to drive today. <laughs> but you know, this one inch is, is acceptable. Yeah. Very acceptable. I'm glad you got rid of the, well, you haven't, but you got two inches. Two, two inches, but <laughs> I mean, if you put something in the back of this trailer, yes. like it's supposed to be, exactly. it could level things out yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, it help tongue weight, do a lot of things. Yeah, and that's how toy haulers are, and that's how living quarter horse traders are. So as we're getting on the highway and going a little bit faster at highway speed, do you mind checking the sound level? Sure. I'm going to call the average 60. It was shooting down to 57 up to 62. 
wow. Yeah. That is, I mean, that is very quiet. 60 yeah. decibels is one of the quietest vehicles we've ever tested. I mean. Yeah, and you, you notice a little bit of round noise. I think it's coming from the floor. And maybe a touch of wind coming from the windscreen up front. Oh, yeah. Um, it is pretty especially, flat. Especially at higher speeds, like 75 or 80 yeah. or 85 miles an hour. We're not yeah. going that fast right now. You know, a lot of luxury vehicles have a laminated windshield where there's two layers of glass and a layer of plastic. I can't tell looking at this if it has that. And have you noticed we both have two handles? The old shoot handles. Yes. <laughs> and they're leather wrapped. They're very comfortable. Ooh. Well, look at this. It's pretty loaded, man. This is cool. Yeah. This is what your wife will do when you're driving too fast. This is what your grandpa will do when he's getting scared. <laughs> Other models of the GX 550 can throw upwards of 9,000 pounds. Really? Is so, that really? Yeah, yeah two wheel drive, four wheel drive, four wheel drive. That's good. That's uh, good. This one is limited, I think, largely because of wheels and tires. Yes. Um, and of course, optional equipment makes this truck a little bit heavier as well. Right. Uh, but here's my thing: you need a weight distribution hitch. Yes. I think when you're towing that heavy, absolutely. Right. And also, um, weight dis you know con total weight distribution. So. When the trailer becomes much heavier than the vehicle itself, right? Yeah. There's a tendency for sway. Yeah. So I'm getting a little bit of sway right now. We're climbing right now, and I just used a little bit of accelerator. The RPM come up, and I have so much torque, man. Oh, well, yeah, I got the twin turbos and that V6. It's got plenty of power. Yeah, so I think um, towing is really not about power, right? I mean, well, it helps. Yeah, torque and all that gets you going good. Yeah, but it's really this brakes, the suspension, the, you know, if it's comfortable to tow or if it's swaying all the time. Well, yeah. Those are the measurements. It, yeah, it, it's a whole package. There's, you get it all in line. Like, if we had weight distributing on here, we'd probably only be an inch of squat. And that means you're putting the same weight on all the bearings, and all your brakes are helping. Everything's helping. It's the, all the stuff on the back end, the back axle doing all the work. You want that. You want all the axles doing the work. So we have many partners that make this possible, right? That's true. And one of those partners, of course, is CompleteTrailers.com. Check them out using the link in the description below. They helped us with this. It's an ATC toy hauler trailer. And we have a luxury SUV, and we also have a very nice and luxurious <laughs> trailer. Yes, everybody should have a luxurious toy hauler. So this one is 24 foot living quarters, basically. So the main part of it is about, can you open it a little bit more, well, please? Well, I'm, I'm trying, that's what I'm worried about. Is it stiff? Is it, I don't want to break anything. Oh, that's good. So it's, of course it's got these steps. You've seen us use I these trailers before. I love those before. ladders. Those steps there are wonderful. Look at all the stainless steel appliances in here. Look how big it is in here. Oh, it's cool. It's, look at the ceiling. You can jump up and down in here. Yes, so I'm 6'3". Uh, you know, this is huge ceiling because this also has a bed that comes down. Yeah, that's comes awesome. Up. This has several din well, dinettes, a couch, you can fold it out. Right. Or you could put your side-by-side -side or motorcycles over here oh, sure. in this toy hall area. Well, that's cool. And that's, you know, those fold into couches and stuff too. It's just, you can put a lot of people in here. Yes. And take a look at this. Nice kitchen. Nice countertop. Yep. Um, and over here... Whoa, this is a pretty large bathroom. Wow. Wow, dude, even for me at 6'3", look, yeah. I could stand, I could stand in the shower. Yeah, look at that, that's made to go out, all the way out yeah. so you have more room to yeah. swing around in there. You get even even in the a big, fat dude like me can, can be comfortable there in here. There you go. That would work for you. Is that some kind of torture device? What is that? No, it's a mirror, mirror extension, not torture. Oh, so yes. the GX is an off-road machine. We'll get that lip. See, I, yeah, that's wait a not, minute. That's a tall mirror. I that's not gonna fit. Yeah, the tall mirror is too tall. So you see the profile of this mirror. Yeah, it's, it's meant for clear, It's yeah. meant for clearing obstacles. There's a camera under here also. Right, Just keep the trees out of your mirrors. But if you are towing big trailers like kind of we are right now, yeah, you need a little bit more reach. Yeah, get so, a taller one. Either Alexis should offer something like this yeah. for this, or have an extension, you know, they'll, a power. They'll make sure toy mirrors for this model, I bet. Like they do the Tundra. Oh, we can't talk right now. Yeah, you know the the toy mirrors on the Tundra, yes. the Sequoia are beautiful. Are beautiful. They pull out. They're yes. wonderful. This probably I don't know if this mo model actually comes with a toy mirror option. 
Yeah, but for a lot of trailers, I mean, if you're pulling like a flat deck trailer with a side by side on right, top where of you it, you can see over the top of it. This yeah. will be fine. Yeah. But when you have a box trailer like this, it's eight and a half feet wide. Yeah, that's an plus issue. Plus the canopy. Yes. This side's really bad on all the trucks because of that canopy. But yeah. Is that brake controller on the right side? Yeah. Praise God for that. Yeah, and mm. on, also just a couple of years ago, a lot of luxury SUVs like Navigators and some others didn't have a brake controller optional. Yeah, and they got them big enough to show some pretty good-sized trailers. Yeah, and now now this GX does, and some others do as well. So we're changing things, Mr. Truck. Because we complain about all this stuff. Yes. So I think they did a good job. Of course, this is not the ultimate test, right? The eye gulp of the still to come. Yeah. Um, and also, we could do a little bit more efficiency testing in the future. But I think for a first test, uh, I like, like you said, we love a lot about this, but a couple of things like, you know, where the plug is down there, yeah. um, the chains are not super easy to hook up. Um, those items could be improved. Yes, yes. Now what's the MPG on this? I mean, we don't have a Maroni sticker, do you even know what it's supposed to get for fuel mileage? No, I don't right now. Um, it's, it's, I think they put it on the website. Okay. This is a pre-production truck. Okay. So this is not a full production vehicle, but as soon as production versions come out, especially the overtrail, yeah. that can tow more, that can go off-road better. Yes. That's the one to test. Different tires, maybe higher clearance, I don't know about that. Now what would, if a person wanted to get a weight distributing hitch or some accessories for that, where would he go? They would go to store.mrtruck.com. Hallelujah! Which I is your... I believe you, brother, yeah. <laughs> and I'll answer the phone so you can ask me any questions. So you do sell many accessories, hitches, yeah. wheel balancers, yeah. you do all yeah. those things. Yeah, I could, I could fix this right up. Tire pressure monitors yes. for the trailers yes. and everything else. Yes. Everything to be safe trailering, I'm, I'm into it. I want to thank our partner, Gen Y Hitches. Um, they've been our partner for so many years, what, yeah. five or seven years even? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I want to thank them as well, and I want to thank all of our other sponsors, including CompleteTrailers.com. Yes, it's a lot wonderful trailer. I like their trailers. Aluminum, mostly aluminum. Oh, there's snow on that truck. You yeah. see, I told you it was yeah. major snowstorm in the mountains. That's what's going on now. So that's another reason we didn't get the Ike done today. So as we finish our first drive, how about we talk about price? Yes. The new GX550 starts at around sixty-five or sixty-six thousand dollars. Okay. Now that's the uh, kind of a, the beginning model. Now the luxury model, there's two of them, luxury and luxury plus. We're basically in the luxury plus model, which is everything. Yeah. Almost every option. You can do a couple of additional things like the heads up display that we have. Oh, um, yeah. You could see, I like those. you could see it up here. It's helpful. Um, bring up the price to about between 79,000 and 81,000, depending on the options. Yeah. Um, the trailer we're towing right is more really yes well it's all it's so, an aluminum trailer it's got a lot a lot of toys back there too so was it a hundred thousand or what is it no it starts at about 85 and goes to about ninety five thousand for wow. this atc trailer that's the, about the size of mine i like this size yeah so as you can see yes of course vehicles are expensive but also the toys you're towing can, your towing could be very, oh, very expensive. Yes. Yeah, I think well. about a new Razor is about what twenty-five thousand for a new Razor. Yeah, Polaris. So there we have it. Thanks for joining us on this video. Uh, we'll see you next time. And check us out at oldtfl.com and store.mrtruck.com. Say it with me: store.mrtruck.com. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Next time.